Hey guys, Glenn here. Um, got a YouTube video for you today. This is my um, update on my 2018 um, Rockwood a a HW296 Premier. Um, and I just bought that brand new F-150 to haul it with. I had an Explorer before, and I bought that F-150 Limited, and then hauled it like a dream going to Maine. Um, Alright, so this is the um, other side of the camp with the push out. And I won't show you all the stuff. I've, you know, there's tons of videos to do that. Dealerships that'll show you what you get. But you get the two storages on the door and all that. Um, so okay. Um, so this is my um, third year using this camper. Oop, let me get on the back here. I do want to note though, up here with a where the uh, travel door um, attached underneath, right up here. Um, Right where that hinge is on both sides, um, the door came right down. The screws came out of the wood, so I had to bolt them up there with bolts. I just got to shorten the bolt up because it's catching when I slide it in and out, and I have to lift it up over the bolt. So I just got to shorten it all the way, and that should take care of that. Um, okay, here's the door side of the camper. Um, Plus I love having the dual axles so I don't get the swaying when I'm going down the road. So it's perfect. Alright. Here's the front bed end. Um, propane tank cover. I have a cover for my uh, power tongue jack. Just got a single battery. I do have the solar panel kit for this. The Zamp solar panel kit. As you can see. It's already uh, solar ready for the Zamp. I also installed a, and I'll show you what I did, a Wi-Fi Ranger is inside. Those didn't come out until 2020, I believe. Uh, maybe 2019. Don't remember. Um, the campground we go to, coming inside actually. Um, all right. I'll show you the Wi-Fi Ranger in a minute. Okay, there's my couch. There's my front bed end with the netted pocket hanging down. Um, okay, there's my cabinetry, TV, I get good reception with this, and I'm using an antenna that's made by, uh, um, by King Jack, it's a King Jack, it's a, um, Omni Go, I believe is the name of it, I push out, still have some stuff we gotta get situated in here since we've been home from Maine, we go to Maine every month for, um, every August for a whole month, um, Okay, there's my counter space there. Um, come back here. Here's our back bed end with the net hanging down. Um, we did have a problem with this camper and um, we were having a leak that started last year. And turns out the fan up there, which is from the factory, is a fantastic vent fan. Um, Forest River does not put butyl, uh, butyl tape under that fan when they stick it down. They put nothing except whatever that caulking is that they use to seal it with. They set it down on the outer edges of that, and that's it. I had a leak coming right into the inside, right down here onto the um, countertop, and I had mold inside this campus, so I had to go and get stuff to clean that with, and I went to... Uh, I actually went to it and found stuff that works fantastic. It's what they recommend in this camper when you get it. Um, I went to, uh, okay, I've got to think about it now. Um, not NASA Marine, um, RV Marine, I don't know, what, West Marine, that's it, West Marine. I went to West Marine, bought some mold and mildew um, cleaner, and it gets it all the way off. All right, here's my bathroom. We do have a actual bathroom, wet bathroom, right there. I changed out the shower head and the hose going to the shower head. So now we have actual, um, we have an actual nice working shower because the one that was in there was junk. It was getting really hard to push the button and all that. And um, the one of the buttons kind of popped off and couldn't get it to stay on there. So I replaced it. We're on to Amazon and got it. So anyways, so getting back to the fan, I replaced 
the stock um, fantastic vent fan with a uh, Max Air with a remote control. I'll tell you what, because me and my wife cannot reach this fan at all unless we stand right here on this little ledge to reach up there to turn that on. So this is what we bought and this is what we got with it right here. Got a nice remote control. Let me see if the lights are on and I'll just go ahead and show you this. Um, I like this fantastic. I mean, I like this Max Air a lot better than the, um, oh, here, let me come down here. I'll show you guys. Let me get this up here. Sorry about this, guys. Um, I'm hard to hold a tablet while you're trying to do this. And, all right, let me turn this on for you. There you go. And it opens up for you. And there you go. Look at that. This is a lot quieter fan than my Fantastic was. Right now, I have it so it's drawing air in. And I'll tell you what, on a nice hot day, and you're in this camper, and it's like really, really hot out, you definitely want a fan that can draw in. And if I, I can hit reverse, whoop, it's going to stop for a second. When it comes to a stop, it's going to reverse itself. Now it's drawing out. So we love that. That's like our most favorite feature of this whole fan is to be able to draw air in. The other thing we're gonna do, cause we don't use the air conditioner in this camper. Um, we're gonna change out, take the air conditioner out. And um, all that's up in that opening, let me just shut that off. Now this does have a rain sensor, so It'll close when it starts to rain all by itself. That was well worth putting that in. Um, all right, so the other thing we're going to do is, if you didn't realize this, you've never done one before, um, there's our AC unit. We don't use it. We stay at a campground up in Maine called Colonial Mass Campground. Um, we're up in the woods, under the trees. We used to be down by the beach on the water. We were out in the open. We had one tree that was next to us. And um, 2011, we were staying up there. And we had um, we had a problem with um, a bad storm come through. Oh, okay. I don't know. Um, so anyways, um, the storm came in. And trees came down, but we were up in the woods. We decided when the storm came, we had to be off the site. We were supposed to go home, and instead we decided to um, we decided to um, stay for a uh, few extra days. So we did. Um, some trees came down on that site we were at. Nobody's camper got damaged or anything, but. They came down, um, so now that site's completely out in the open. So we, it was so hot, yeah, we would have, probably would have needed the AC to cool us down. But we're up in the woods, fully under the trees. Even on the hottest day, it's nice in this camp. We don't need AC. So we've never used it since we bought the camper. Um, I'm going to pull the AC unit off the roof and... So, um, what I found out, my next door neighbor, um, owns a store called Camping USA. It's a camping store that sells camping supplies, um, all kinds of stuff. You know, she can even get you a replacement AC unit. She sells the, both the Fantastic and the Max Air vent fans. All the supplies you need, she does repair work. She's an authorized, um, Rockwood Repair Center, so she can repair your Rockwood if you have a problem. Um, located in East Bridgewater, Mass, and the owner's name is Deb um, DaCosta, and that's Deb's house right there, right next to me. Um, she's got a nice old GMC motorhome. You guys know all about those. You see tons of videos on them, and everyone loves their GMC motorhome. They're nice looking. Uh, not something I'd want, but... Um, 
So she told me that's only a 14 by 14 inch opening, the same as my Max Air vent fan opening. So we're going to pull that AC off the roof and we're just going to install another Max Air fan right in place of that. I'm going to, um, right up there is the plug for my um, light fixture for the push out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to fish a wire. I'm going to have to pull that plug down. I'm going to have to fish a wire over from that plug over to where the AC is so that I can wire up that Max Air fan. And once I do that, it'll be golden. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put a Max Air in place of that. That's all we need. The, now the Max Air has the, as you can see, light comes through. So it's got the smoke, the dome on it. So we'll do the same here. It'll be a smoke dome and it'll be great. We'll get more light, a little bit more light coming in with that even closed. That'll be fantastic. So I'm going to do that. Um, so this is my 2018 uh, Rockwood HW296 Premier. Um, and this is our third season. This this was our third season going to Maine with it. And we just absolutely love it. I've had to fix some stupid things like today, the bathroom door. I had to fix, tighten some screws on the hinge. The screws are loosened up. I've been chasing screws in this camper since I got it. This um, outlet right here by the radio... That was hanging out. I had to loosen the screws to that and fix that and get the plastic pieces that hold it against the wood back into the right position and tighten it down. So that's all set. Um, and I realized it's a pop-up. When you're driving down the road, a lot of things can loosen up. Um, but uh, Rockwood, if you're seeing this video, or even Forest River or Flagstaff, because I know you own the same company, you need to do something about that fan up on the roof. You need to start using the butyl tape. Stop trying to save money. It's causing leaks, and it's costing us people money to repair it. Please fix it. Put butyl tape under there. It doesn't take you much to do it. It takes two seconds to lay that tape down, pull the paper top over it and off of it, and then put your caulking down, and then put the fan down. Then it's guaranteed not to leak. There's another gentleman online that I watched last night. He's got a, I think a 2019 um, Forest River pop-up. Same problem. No butyl tape. You had a leak. Same thing that I experienced. You need to fix that. All right. Um, so that's it. I'm going to get out of here. Um, hey, if you watched this video, thanks for watching my video. Um, if you've subscribed to my channel, thanks for subscribing. If not, hit that subscribe button right down Below there somewhere you'll find it. That little red button says subscribe. Do that. Um, comment to the video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Um, any comments are welcome. If you got a pop-up, I'd love to hear your um, how your pop-up's working. If you got an HW296, um, love to hear it. See how, what year it is and how you like it. We love ours. Um, glad I bought that new F-150 to haul it with. Huge difference. Um, and that truck has the um, 3.5 liter twin turbo high output. It puts out 450 horse. That truck screws. Oh my God. It scares me. It's so fast. 5.9 seconds in the quarter mile. Zero to 60. Crazy. All right, guys. I'm out of here. Catch you guys later. And thanks for watching. See you in the next video.